Welcome to Excel Basics video number six. Hey, in this video, we got to talk about customizing the Quick Access Toolbar and showing new ribbon tabs. Now, the Quick Access Toolbar, by default, comes looking like this without any color and with buttons we don't really need. And we want to see how to customize it so we have exactly the buttons we need. And they show up below the ribbon tab in color. Now, if you want to download this Excel file or the PDF notes, you can click on the link below the video. Hey, let's go over to the sheet Ribbon Quat. Now, if you look up, here's the title bar. And up at the top on the left is our Quick Access Toolbar. Now, I have Insider Edition version. So I have this Auto Save button. The rest of you, by default, will have the Save button, Undo, and Redo button. The first thing we want to do to the Quick Access Toolbar is show it below the ribbon. So we simply right click, Show Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon. And there, it's below the ribbon. The next thing we want to do is actually look through the ribbon tabs. And anytime we find a button that we want to add to the Quick Access Toolbar, we can simply do that by, and I'm going to point to the decrease decimal, because this is something I use all the time. Right click, and right at the top, Add to Quick Access Toolbar. I've added it to the Quack. Right click on Increase Decimal, Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Now, the reason that you want to add buttons that you use a lot to the Quick Access Toolbar is if you always work in the Data Ribbon tab, I don't want to have to go back over to Home and click on Increase Decimal. Notice, there's the buttons. I can go to any ribbon tab, and they're always showing. Now, what you want to do to customize your own personal quat is to go through each ribbon tab and find the items that you use all the time and add them to the Quick Access Toolbar. I use Shapes all the time. Right click, Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Column Chart. Right click, Add to Quick Access Toolbar. And so you go through each ribbon tab and add all of the buttons. You can fill up this entire thing here. That's all I need from the ribbon tabs. I actually know a lot of the keyboard, so most of the time I don't need to add them to the Quack. But there's another reason to add buttons to the Quack. There's some features that are nowhere in the ribbon tabs. So we can further customize the Quick Access Toolbar by right-clicking the Quick Access Toolbar. And there it is, the second option, Customize Quick Access Toolbar. And when I click that, I actually jump to Excel Options. And by default on the left, Quick Access Toolbar is selected. Now the key is we pick things from this list. Uh, but the first thing is the default is not very helpful, popular commands. You want to click the drop down and either select all commands, which is every single command available in Excel, or if you've already gone through the ribbon tabs, simply isolate it further with commands not in ribbon. Now you can look through this entire list and pick out all the items you want. I'm going to click in the list, type the letter S, because I want to jump to the S's. And a button I want to add is Scenario. So I select it, and then I click the Add button. And just like that, there it is. Scrolling down further, Speak Cells on Enter. That's a button I like to use. Not everyone likes that button. But I'm going to click Add, because I can't find it anywhere in the ribbon. I actually have to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. Another section to have fun with when you're building your Quat is Paste Section. There is a great one, Paste as Picture. Or here's a great one, Paste as Linked Picture. That means whatever you copy, whether in Word or PowerPoint or somewhere in Excel, if you click this button, it will paste it as a picture, and it will totally be linked when the source data changes. I'm going to click Add. Now, probably just as important as adding buttons is removing buttons. I do not need Auto Save at all. That's for OneDrive. Click Remove. Save. I'm never going to use Save because I use Control S. Remove that. 
undo, that's Control Z. Redo or undo the undo, that's Control Y. I'm going to remove those. As soon as I have my custom list of buttons, now I can click OK. But there's two other important things. You can, for example, select Scenario and move it. I'm going to move it back down. Next video, when we talk about keyboards, we'll see that having your most important or most often used buttons at the very top of this quat list can be helpful. So you can reorder them there. Also, if you ever need to reset back to that default, you can simply come here and click that. We're done. I'm going to click OK. And that's totally amazing. Now, turned off speak on enter. I already had my button turned on. I'm going to turn it on. Cells will now be spoken on enter. And this is what I love about speak cells on enter. I'm going to type 25.25. And when I hit enter, 25. Well, it said 25. I know I entered 2525. 25. Well, here's where our second button's going to come in handy. I accidentally highlighted this range and decreased the decimals. No problem. I can come over and use my increase decimal button. Now when I come over here and use speak cells on enter, 69.43, enter. 69.43. 125.25. And speak cells on Enter is working. Now, here's a terrible joke. You can actually turn this on. And if you remove the button, by the way, you can remove any of these buttons at any time by right click Remove, it'll still be on. And the only way you can turn it off is by adding it back on and then turning it off. I've actually done that before. That's a terrible April Fool's Day joke that you can do on somebody. Hey, here's another great option. If I highlight this, Control-C, I come over to the side. Instead of Control-V, I'm going to click my Paste as Linked Picture. Now if I come over here and change this to 87.52, instantly this updates. Now a lot of times people use Paste Special Linked Picture. If you have a sheet where you have maybe a couple pivot tables, and you want this formula solution over there, but you want it to totally update, and you want it to look exactly like it does over there, you can paste as a linked picture. Now, the other thing we want to talk about is the ribbon tabs. Now, by default, most of your ribbon tabs will look like this, but there is at least one ribbon that doesn't come showing by default. So you can right click any ribbon tab and point to customize the ribbon. Now it opens up the same Excel options. Instead of quick access toolbar, it says customize ribbon. Now over here, you can check or uncheck any of the ribbons you might want to show. Now you can add buttons, but we're not going to do that. I like to add my buttons to the quick access toolbar. Now when I click OK, I'll have a new ribbon showing. Click OK, and there it is, the Developer ribbon. Another important option for showing ribbon tabs, and we're not going to do this in this class, but there are some features that can only be added as a new ribbon. So if you go over to File, down to Options, down here, there is an Add In section. Now we come down here to Excel add-ins. If I click the drop down, COM add-ins is an example. If I click that and click Go, again, we're not doing this in this class, oftentimes there are a bunch of different ribbons you want to add. For example, in the class after this, Business 218, which is uh, advanced Excel, you're going to need Power Pivot. Also, a lot of businesses have add-ins that they want for all of their employees. So you might have to come to this COM add-in, like the Acrobat PDF Maker. So now when I click OK, now I have one and two new ribbon tabs. All right, so in this video, we saw how to customize the Quick Access Toolbar. We moved it from the top down below, and then we went to whatever button we wanted and added to Quick Access Toolbar. We also saw how to right-click, customize, quad, and add buttons. And then we saw how to right-click 
any ribbon and check new ribbons. We even saw how to go to Tools, Options, Add-ins, and add new ribbons that your business might have or items that you've purchased that only can be added as a ribbon tab. All right, uh, next video we'll talk about keyboards in Excel. All right, we'll see you next video.